everybody! As you can see, I'm very happy and very cheerful today because spring has begun. I know it's not a big news, but believe me, when you can hear the birds, well, maybe not now, but believe me, seagulls are everywhere. When you can see blossom on trees, flowers in the gardens, when you're a spring lover just like me, you just feel super, super joyful. And today I want to share with you some of my favorite beauty stuff for spring. <laughs> Everything starts in the shower with some of my favorite shower gel. These ones are from The Body Shop, it's a brand that I love. I talked about it all of the time on my blogs and actually at the moment I'm repurchasing some of my favorite fragrances for spring. Here we have pink grapefruit, a very nice smell, very grapefruity. <laughs> and here we have another agrume. No, I don't remember the name in, in English. This smell is Satsuma. I love it. So fresh. Can you tell that I love it? It's very good in the morning or just after sport because it's super fresh, super tonic. So after the shower, as you know, it's great to hydrate your skin. And again, I propose you to try uh, the Body Shop Body Butter or Better a Lotion. This one is a patient fruit one and it smells like heaven. Talking about smell, for spring I want to move a little bit my routine and especially when it comes to perfume because in the winter I go for the very dark, very strong um, fragrances and during spring I want to be more romantic, poetic and everything so in fact I bought this bottle of perfume it's called Elenithia and it's from Penaligons and actually it's a uh, Eau de parfum, which means that it's super strong, but in reality, the smell is super fresh and super springy, very soft, delicate, but there is a lot of work to do it. Sorry, I have perfume in my mouth. <laughs> I bought it on Amazon not that long ago, it was half price, so usually it's a 100 pound. <laughs> yes, 100, and I got it for 50, so I'm very happy with it. But I know that even £50 is a lot, so if you want a very nice alternative, let's go back to the body shop with this White Musk Libertine or another White Musk perfume from this brand. It's very musky, but without killing animals. <laughs> yes, it sprays this way. As you can see, during spring I love colors. <laughs> and actually I wear colors even on my face, as you know it. I'm a makeup addict. I love to just express myself and express my feelings, my emotion and my loves through makeup. So first, this makeup, it has been done with a lot of bronzer. And because I'm not tanned at all, I wanted to counterbalance it with this very lavender sparkling eyeshadow, which is from Art Deco. And this very pink lip balm from Maybelline yeah that was exactly the time to reapply it let's go on with color for your lips so I have here a small sample of what I love I have plenty as my friends know it they're always astonished with my collection hey guys and um, let's start with yes some lip balm so the Tutti Frutti, if I remember well, yes, I remember well, from uh, Revlon is great. But be careful if you don't have very white teeth because it makes it a little bit more yellowy. And actually, that's my case. A little bit better in the coral uh, colors. We have this Benefit one, which is actually a lip shine, so more a lip gloss technically. It's in Juicy Coral and it's more wearable but frankly if you prefer a tinted lip balm you must go back to Revlon with a Just Be Done Kissable because it's a balm stain and actually 
in the very pinky tones you have this one which is called ta -da 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 -da, lovesick and this one is great because he has blue tones which is perfect when you don't have perfect teeth again with the pink colors if you want a real lipstick you can go with l'oréal which has this uh, what is it called? Uh, Rouge Caress in Cheeky Magenta. And finally, in case you want more something like a gloss, so it's not a Revlon one, this one it's a Bourgeois, the color boost in. Oh, here it is, in red sunrise. It's way more um, glossy and less hydrating but it's very good on the lips and it's a great alternative if you don't want to wear a red lip still in the makeup department i told you i love bronzer during this time of the year because it makes you like you're back from holiday from vacation because maybe you had a great weekend in the sun like on the beach actually i was in my lab but I cheat a little bit with bronzer and to make sure you don't look too tanned it's great to use some more colors on your face with blush actually here I have a few colors to show you this one is the one I'm wearing today it's a Catrice one called A Propos Apricot so this defining blush is very nice, very good to use and stay all day which is great if you're more in the pink colors, you can go bright, and when I say bright, I mean it. Let me open the box. With this very bright pink from Bar Minerals, it's called The Faux Pas, and I love it. A little bit less cheeky, you have this Anfoger Bio, which is in Rose Lumière, and it's more um, raspberry tone. So it's easier to wear in the everyday life. And if you don't want to choose, in fact, between a few blushes, you can try with a palette containing a few. This one is from Sleek. This one is a pink lemonade with icing sugar, macaroon and pink mint. On the eyes, I have two main focus. I want the color all over my lids or I want a very thin or thick line of eyeliner which is colored and a very nude lid. So for this last alternative I don't hide my naked, one, two, three or whatever. So I can just use a very clear eyeshadows and a little bit more darker in the crease. And on top of that, next to my lashes, I can use a very pink eye pencil. This one is from Arc-en-Ciel and it's called... What are you called, darling? Fuchsia Up. I can also use some blue. So very light blue in a pencil from Kiko. Or one of my favorite eyeliners so far, the one from Eiko, which is the skinny liquid eyeliner in navy, so in very dark blue. I have also this purple Laura Mercier pencil that I got in the last brush box. Check my video somewhere here. And finally, if you prefer green, and I understand it perfectly, you can go for Modolons that have this very thick green glitter pencil that's a green goddess that I used in my last video or you can go for a thinner pencil and this one is the azure blue but actually it looks like green, believe me I was about to tell you more about this eyeliner from Tokidoki but this brand is not available anymore Boo. As I told you, I'm wearing a lot of colors on my lid and like this lilac one from Art Deco, so this is the one. But if you want a very 
nice alternative you can go for this palette can you see it oops <laughs> you can go for this palette from Catrice it's the absolute bright which a lot of bright colors and I especially love using oops this bare mineral palette it's a quad called um, the A-list because I love wearing pink during spring that's trying so now you know that I love spring you know what you can do to love spring just like I do and I hope you enjoy this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're interested to see more of my videos I will see you in the next one bye bye I'm a baby girl in a baby world Life in plastic is fantastic You can touch my hair and dress me everywhere <sighs>